Hi, welcome to Gigi Daru. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to do the reading for the sign of Taurus. We're going to look at the energy for the week of January 22nd to January 28th. Um, please be aware that this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your rising sign. But if still it doesn't resonate for you, don't force it. Um, maybe I just didn't have a message for you. So let's see what should we expect or what's going to be the energy for next week for the sign of Taurus. Okay, it's, it's too early. What's going to be the energy for the sign of Taurus for next week? Week of 22nd to 28th. Sign of Taurus. Sign of Taurus. Oh my god. Okay. I won't hold them. bottom of the deck the moon reverse the moon reverse i don't know why i feel like i have to say it the moon usually it's uh the the um, things that we cannot see the dark side of the, the 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 other side of things and here it's reverse means that maybe you saw the light into something okay so um we have here the four of winds the Knight of Swords, the Death card, Lovers Reverse, and Six of Cup Reverse. So what I see here, Taurus, in the recent past, recent past you were in a steady. Um, if we go with the energy here, you were in a steady relationship. Things seems to be well. Um, either you or your partner. Um, see things in a way that maybe um, you, you're not invested enough um, emotionally in the relationship. The Knight of Sword is a knight that is, um, it, it is a positive card, but it, they're mostly logical. They mo it's mostly about communication, um, something very straightforward. But not with the um, the maturity of the king, okay. So maybe um, some uh, the, the the relationship um, it was mostly an exchange of things uh, of um, mostly in your mind, not uh, too emotionally involved. Um, we see here with the dead card that you guys put an end. To the relationship either you or your partner but it wasn't and then maybe not of the relationship but maybe of a situation in the relationship um because we see here the lovers reverse but it's like it's temporary because either you're gonna go back with your person or um it's an old love that's coming in so it's the end of the relationship or a, um, a miss, um, another way or, of um, leaving that relationship. Um, so let's clarify here. Let's clarify. 
It says it's too soon to, to say. Let's clarify the Knight of Sword. Why the Knight of Sword just after the Four of Wings? What do what does spirit mean with the, the Knight of Sword just after the Four of Wings in the energy of Taurus? I know that Taurus is a sign that's very cerebral. They're mostly in in their mind, they're in their feelings, but it's also an earth sign, so they're usually stable in their relationship. Okay, so they like to work on things. That's why I felt like that the dead card was mostly ending a situation maturely. <laughs> See the difference with the knight and um, the king? Okay. It confirms what I had in mind. Yeah, you were ending something. Maybe in that relationship, you were more in, an introvert in that relationship. And you decided, you know, thinking about things, that um, um, the thing that you're going to end is the imbalance in the relationship. Okay? So let's see in the recent future um next week it's like a, a, a misunderstanding a little fight either you're gonna go back to that person or either um either it's some someone from your past who's coming back in your life so let's clarify uh the six cups here oh hmm Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, okay. See? I think um, I think you're going to have a choice to make. Okay? Because, you know, I thought maybe here, what I felt, it was the end, or like maybe a misunderstanding or uh, a conflict between you and your person, but, and that you were going to go, things going to go back to the way they were. But it seems like it's probably, it seems like it's someone uh, coming uh, from your past that is coming back into your life. And you're going to have a choice to make. But you're not willing to make that choice yet. But whatever you choose uh, with the Knight of Sword here, it's going to be the right choice. It's going to be, not the right choice, it's going to be the decision that you make to start a relationship with that choice okay so the king of the knight of wands here is not going for it yet but it's something to look forward to okay um so let's see the the message from the oracles let's see the message from the oracles for that relationship here that's gonna seem to bloom in the near future what is the message for the locals? For whatever you decided to end here, the choice you're going to make. What is the message? Oh, it came out. Girl with a snake. Girl with a snake. Impact and narcissist paradigm. Being charm or use. Enable boundaries hmm see it's like oh it seems like really you you went out of a situation you went out of a situation you put in your boundaries to where that relationship that you were really having and you're going to have a choice in your new choice. Yeah. Let's see if they have a second message. Let's see. If the oracles have a second message for you. I'll not use this card. Second message. For a second message. 
Show the world the real you. You know? Put your boundaries from the narcissistic person. Show the world the real you. Don't lose the beauty of the beauty and the romance of life. You are too much in your head, get into your heart. Her friends need you be there for them. A situation is gonna take a very unexpected turn. Yes. So this was the message for next week, uh, Taurus. I hope that resonated with you. If it did, well, subscribe to see more of them every week. Merci et au revoir.